Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? What it do? Welcome to D Smith with Let's Discuss. So, Lil Wayne came out with a IG Live video thanking all his fans for the support for the past few days because he did not get picked for the Super Bowl. But there was something missing from the message he said to his fans for me. But first, take a listen to this right here. First of all, let me say this. No one owes Lil Wayne anything. No one made promises to him. So for him to expect to be picked for the Super Bowl, that's on him. The delay on just the delay, I want to say, uh, I had to first of all, I had to get strength. I had to get strength enough to do this without breaking. Um, I must say thank you. I must say thank you to every voice, every opinion, all the care, all the love and the support out there. Is your, your words turned into to arms and, and held me up when, when I try to fall back. Um, That hurt, hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about, it hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally put. It goes back to what, what makes you so damn special? What makes you special? You from New Orleans, hip hop legend, does not mean nothing. Jay Z is my friend. He should pick me. My expectation, now his expectation was, was over the moon, in my opinion. Put myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that, but. I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um, so it hurt. I hurt a whole lot. Um, but y'all, y'all are. You know what's crazy? So there's plenty more Super Bowls coming up because of Nikki, because of Lil Wayne past behaviors. He'll never be picked for the Super Bowl. In my opinion, let's discuss, let's go. Fucking amazing. It made me feel like shit not getting this, this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. And, and that's an amazing reality. So, like I said, it broke me, and I'm just trying to put me back together, but my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, and my homies on television and everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me, and I'm working. So thank you. So there's a a lot of things he is not saying in this. Let's discuss. So you just heard Lil Wayne, all right? He deserved a lot of respect for a great for a great career. Great music, great songs, maybe a great person, who knows? But the Super Bowl is not the BET Awards. The Super Bowl is not the Source Awards. The Super Bowl is not Essence Fest. Whatever festival, the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl is not the Soul Train Awards. 
let's be real. You book Lil Wayne for those type of shows, not the Super Bowl. I'm right or wrong. Let's discuss. Drop a comment. Nobody feels sorry for you, Lil Wayne. Nobody feels sorry for you. Your actions is the truth. Your actions shows you who the person you are. And Lil Wayne's actions over the years shows he has not been reliable. Don't check me. Check Lil Wayne for his behavior. It is what it is. Check what's in Lil Wayne Cup. Do that. Check what's in, <laughs> in, in Nick Minaj's uh, bathroom. Behaviors shows you the type of person these individuals are. In this clip, you did not hear no accountability. He did not say, I fucked up. He did not say, it was all my fault. Try to place the blame on other people. Which is wrong. Which is wrong. Which is addict behavior. Take accountability, man. Lil Wayne action shows he forgets his lyrics. His action shows he comes to event not well prepared. The Super Bowl committee works on the next act for the Super Bowl years in advance. During those years, Lil Wayne was fucking up. Take accountability, man. Take accountability. And during that clip, it, it kind of it kind of sounds, it sounds it, to me, it sounds selfish. To have an expectation that I'm going to be there for the Super Bowl, you selfish, man. No. No. Another thing, he did not, even though he do not have to do this, he did not say congrat. He did not say congratulations to Kendrick Lamar. Why would he not say congratulations to Kendrick Lamar, who idolized Lil Wayne? Think about that. Congratulations to my little man, K Dot. I know you're going to represent New Orleans well. He did not say that. It kind of shows you what type of person he is. A messed up individual. He did say he need to work on himself. Therapy might be a good place. Or oh, ayahuasca. Rip the soul apart. But man, yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Drop a comment. If you like this video, subscribe to the uh, channel. I'm out of here.